Hello listeners, welcome back to the channel Easy CS Learning. The topic for today's discussion is CSS box model. Okay. What is this box model? Basically, the box model is used to design the layout. Design the layout that contains the information that is to be displayed on a web page. So your box model basically uses four terminologies and works around it. What are they? The first one is the content. The content that you want to display on the web page as an information. Basically, this content would be wrapped using an HTML element, right? Around the content comes your padding. This is a clear space around the content that approaches to the next component called border, right? Border can have different properties such as the line pattern or the border, whether it has to be a dotted line, whether it has to be a solid line, right? So you can apply such properties to the border where it clearly indicates border is a visible component of your box model, right? Similarly, along with the line patterns, the border can also have various colors, right? It can be assigned with different colors and it can also have varying size, right? That means it can be a thick border, it can be a thin border. So whatever the size and the pattern of the border you want, you can specify, right? Around this comes your last component of box model that is margin. Right? This acts as a separator between the content, the current content and the rest of the web page content. Rest of the web page content. Okay. Again, margin is a clear component. That means it does not have any specific properties that can be set. Okay. So now we will quickly see how we can use this right in our web page designing. So let me quickly open up the editor, the simple notepad editor and start working with these components of box model, right? So the first thing that I'm going to have is the root element of HTML document have a head section in that wherein I am going to define the box model under the style element. Okay, so what I am going to style, we'll see it later. That is, first I need to know the content is wrapped under which particular uh, HTML element. So that element I can use and give proper styling here wherein the major component in styling would be the box model implementation for me. Okay. So now, before I could define the style, I need to define the body section. So let me quickly design that. Wherein, let me have a simple heading stating, um, hello world. Okay. Then, Close this heading. Then let me have a simple paragraph, right? Some content. That I can display. I am just repeating this. So that I can have some content which I can display on my web page. Okay. I also want to have another element. Right. So I will have some different uh, information in it. Okay. 
Hello, listeners. Hello, viewers. Thank you for your support. Please do continue this in future. Some content that I want, I have put in my diff. Okay, that's it. I just want to close off all the elements that I've opened. Finally, the root element to be closed. Now, I want to design the box model around this content. Okay, so basically the content is represented in which HTML element here? It is div. So now I need to define the box model for the HTML element here. Using the element selector, I am going to define the box model for this. Right? What does the box model have? It has got content which is already been displayed, which is already available here. Now around that, I need to have the padding done. Right? Around that, I need to have border and then finally the uh, margin. Okay. So, let me start with it. Border. I say I want it to be one pixel thick. I want it to be solid. And I want it to be in pink color. Okay. So, this is the border that I have set as per my requirement. Next. I need to give padding. What does padding specify? Padding specifies the uh, distance between the content and the border, which is clear. So let me say I want 50 pixel distance from your border to your content. And then similarly, margin. 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 I say 20 pixel from the rest of the content that is the content that is displayed in the paragraph from that to the content in the div I want 20 pixel spacing right so now let me close my um, CSS that is your inline right so now let me save this quickly box model dot html i'm saving it on my desktop i go quickly to the desktop and say where is box model here double click okay are you able to see you're able to notice the distance over here right the distance here this is your padding the pink color line that you are able to see is your border and the space that you are able to see from the above line to the border is your margin spacing okay and this is your content so let me make it still more clear so let me add the width to it so that you can make out very clearly width let it be 300 pixel let me make make border a bit thicker say make it 15 pixel and make it dotted also let me quickly add the background color to this or how to design the background you can refer to another video listed in the channel so the background color, say let me give it as um, yellow. Okay. So let me save this and then refresh this. Are you able to see? This entire coverage that is in yellow color, right? It is the entire box model. What does it have? It has got content. It has got padding that is the space between the margin and the content 
it has got the border specified which acts as a separator right and then it has got margin set so if you want to see the difference if i set the margin uh, or if i increase the margin size then you'll be able to see right now by default whatever value i have given here it is on all the four sides so let me quickly make it as margin top and make it 200 that means here this space should be increasing because i have set only margin top only the top space should increase observe yes right now if you want from the left side also the margin to be increased you can set it as margin left to be 100 pixels refresh you are able to see how the difference is so you can place your content by designing it and uh, putting uh, putting it on the required position you can also use this box model for designing the layout for that particular content where it can be highlighted as a special piece of information in rest of the entire web page i hope the lecture is uh, helpful to you kindly let me know your opinion in the comment box thank you